Let's create our first React application together. First things first, we need to set up our development environment. And we need two things, Node.js and a code editor of your choice. Head over to nodejs.org to download and install the latest stable release of Node.js. If you already have it installed, just make sure it's up to date. For the code editor, I recommend VS Code. You can grab that from code.visualstudio.com. Now there are multiple approaches to getting started with React, but for this essentials part of the course, I'm going to stick with client-side React. This has been the standard approach for more than 10 years and remains the foundation of React development. As a beginner, this should be your go-to method as well. All other rendering strategies are essentially performance optimization that you should only consider when they provide meaningful benefits. All right, with our environment ready, let's dive in. I've created a folder called React Essentials and opened VS Code in it. This folder will be our workspace throughout the Essentials part of the course. Creating a new React project is super simple. It just takes one command. Open your terminal, control Pactic being the shortcut, and run npm create wheat at latest. Wheat is an incredibly fast modern build tool that's become a go-to choice for React development. For this course, you don't need to worry about how Wheat works under the hood. Just know that it's the tool that's going to make your React development experience smooth and lightning fast. When you run this command, npm create Wheat at latest in your terminal, you will see several prompts. First up, it'll ask for the project name. We will call it hello world with a hyphen. Next, you need to select a framework. Select React and choose JavaScript plus React compiler as the variant. We'll cover React with TypeScript separately. Next, it will ask whether you want to try roll down wheat, which is experimental, and you can say no to that. Finally, it will ask you whether you want to install with NPM and start now. Select yes. Give it a few seconds to do its thing, and you will see a new folder called Hello World with your React application inside. In the terminal, you will also notice a development server running on localhost port 5173. You can control plus click or command plus click the link to open the app in your browser. And there you have it. Your Hello World application is up and running. You will see Beat plus React welcome page with a spinning logo. Now, the magic happens when you make changes to your code. Wheat's hot module replacement feature ensures your changes reflect instantly without a full page refresh. Let's make our first change. Go back to VS Code, open the source folder, and find app.jsx. Here, we will replace the text in the main heading, so wheat plus react with hello world, and save it. The browser will automatically update and there is your hello world on the screen. Just like that, you've got your first React application running. Back in VS Code, in the terminal, you can stop the development server by pressing Control plus C and restart it by running the command npm run dev. If you're not inside your project folder though, you're going to see an error. So first, navigate into the project folder with cd followed by hello world, and then run the command npm run dev. Our development server is up and running. We can refresh and the app loads as expected. All right, now that we know how to generate and run a React app using Beat, let's take a closer look at the project's folder structure. 